All right, it was not the intention to do another smash burger, but here's the deal. Adam was supposed to be here. He's stuck in traffic. He sent me this video that's actually, so many different people are doing it. It's been requested so many times, so I was like, you know what, Adam? You take your time, get here safely. It is a cooking weekend. We're gonna film lots of videos, but I was like, let me do that smash burger taco. So that's why we're here. You wanna see how we lay this down on the Pit Boss five burner griddle? Stick around while we dig in. Oh, wow. is that are you a kidding beauty? me? So there it is in all its glory. Wonder. And I wish I could go slowly, but we don't want to give away too many of the recipes. So we want you to buy the book. There <laughs> it is. Oh my word. Can I? Can I? No, thank you. Vibrant. You've got to check this out. Pre-orders are available now on Amazon or anywhere books are sold. We are doing a giveaway. More details to come for anybody that pre-orders. If you've already pre-ordered, hang on to your receipt. Even a digital receipt will do. Release May 16th, so don't forget. Pre-order now on Amazon or anywhere books are sold. All right, like I said, it wasn't our intention, but I mean, give it, twist my arm to do another smash burger. Okay, and another way to do it, this is absolutely awesome, and shout out to Dominique, who actually shouted out to us on Chili's and Smoke video, which by the way, we love Brad at Chili's and Smoke, and uh, in fact, he's got a cookbook out we're gonna be uh, getting uh, tomorrow, I believe. Chili's and Smoke, shout out to you. Love the way you did this. We're just gonna make this very simple. Let's get to the groceries. All right, as you can see right here, we got the basics of a smash burger. We got these two meatballs right here that we will be salting and peppering up with the salt and pepper gravity fed uh, shakers that we've got here. We're just doing American cheese. We've got these red onions we're gonna put on. La Bandarita taco shells, the street taco version. We're just going simple ketchup and mustard. And of course, you can't forget the best made pickles. All right, we are calling it audible because Sherry saw the size of the meatballs that I formed for this. And she goes, Brent, those are gonna be way bigger than the taco shells. And I trust Sherry more than I trust myself a lot. So we are still sticking with the La Bandarita, uh, the brand, but we're going with the fajita size so we can make them bigger. It's okay if they shrink up and they're a little smaller. Think about the meat inside a taco. We don't have to over explain that. Let's just get to the cook now. All right, so here we go. We're just gonna throw these down. We've got this now. This five burner gets really, really hot. So I've actually got the burners set on medium, uh, just medium. I could even go a little medium low because these things are steaming and screaming. And uh, so we're gonna let them sit for just a minute, a few seconds. We're gonna press them. Actually, I'm gonna grab the microphone cord out of the way. And I'm gonna grab the tortillas, lay them down and smash them so you can just follow along as we do this. So there we go. I'm gonna press the first one. There we go, good call on the audible, Sherry. All right, now you're thinking, wait a second, Brent, you're not gonna be able to cook the other side. You gotta remember, when you do smash burgers, these things cook almost all the way through on the one side alone. And then we are also gonna flip these over, so it is gonna get some heat from the other side. It's just not gonna be directly on the griddle. So these are about ready to, to, uh, to flip, and then we're gonna cheese up real quick. All right, time to flip. Got a good little bite here on these burgers, so gonna work, work it. Is it worth it? Uh, let me work it. Look at that nice Maillard reaction right there. These are absolutely beautiful. All right, gonna toss the cheese on, let them melt. Build these. Oh, Should I go two slices that. on this? Yeah, extra cheese is always good. All right, we decided to go extra cheese, so we're gonna crisscross applesauce them. Uh, there oh, we go. And I am going to actually close the lid to help the meltification. All right, and look at that. That is awesome. So I'm gonna actually pull these up. Oh, my beautiful crustification. All right, we're gonna plate it up. Oh, they're nice and they're actually crispy. They're almost like tostadas, so I'm gonna try to get them over and fold them up.
So there they are in all their glory. I'm saving this one back here for Adam. He's minutes away. I, I was hoping he would get here before we finish this video, but traffic, you can't, you can't predict it. So here we go. Like we say, it can look amazing. This looks absolutely amazing. This looks so fun. Again, shout out to Sherry for the audible on using the uh, bigger tortilla shells because they absolutely fit the size of the meatballs that I had when I press them down. Like we say, it can smell amazing. Uh, burger joint, can I get a smell yet? Oh, yeah, you can. That's right. Shout out to Sherry, which, by the way, you keep getting shouts for that, Sherry. But if this doesn't taste amazing, then this was all for naught. Cheers. I'll eat to that. Adam, you'll get yours when you get here. Look at all that delicious juice just running off the back there. That's what you want at a nice, greasy burger joint. All right, it is hot. It's hot to the touch. Cheers. I'll eat to that, my brother. Mmm. 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 Well, huh? Mm -hmm. oh. Out of bounds, as Guy Fieri would say. So when I did the crunch wrap, smash burger is very similar because of the tortillas, but it is so juicy. And for people to think like, oh, you smash all the juice out of a smash burger. No, you don't. You smash it so quick that Maillard reaction keeps the juice inside the burger. You saw the juice uh, just now dripping out of this. This burger is cooked absolutely to perfection. The pickles give it that nice zing. And uh, of course, ketchup, mustard, plain and simple, the onions and the cheese. I'm glad we doubled up on the cheese because the size of the burgers, it just seemed to make a lot of sense. So that's all I got to say about this. 10 out of 10 would recommend. I'm just saying, if you haven't tried this, this is a trend that is going on right now. Smash burger tacos. Uh, Adam, I'm sorry, I kind of slid yours around, but yours is ready for you when you get here, bro. Um, and you're gonna be actually editing this video, so you might. Try it when you get here. If this gave you another idea, something that you could throw down and cook, make sure and give this an, a thumbs up. It's one way in which you can surprise. It's one way you can surprise us. Surprise! It's one way in which you can support us. There's a couple other ways you can support us too. Tell your friends to tell friends and tell their friends to uh, like and subscribe. No, but uh, seriously, we have a couple of cookbooks. One that's already out, the Epic Outdoor Griddle Cookbook. You can get that, we got links below. And you can find it at any bookstore, online bookstore for sure, especially like Amazon, Books A Million, Barnes & Noble, things like that. And then our upcoming book that is out for pre-order right now, Smashed, which I wish these were in there. No, these are not, so we might have a Smashed 2.0. I don't know, we'll see what happens. But uh, again, all the links for that are down below. But aside from coming to make yet another banger of a dish. Why else are we doing this? Because all we do is twin no matter what. With that, we bid you adieu. And to don't forget to like and subscribe. And griddle on. Well, real quick, um, Adam did make it. So I gave him his burger. I was like, oh, wait a second, Adam. I said, maybe we can get you on there. Adam, what do you think? Literally, just, I can't even get my bag off my shoulder yet. I just got here. Oh my stars. I got here right after they got done wrapping up. It literally is exactly all I hoped it would be, all we hoped it would be, right? Correct. This is nuts. Like, are you kidding me? How juicy is that bird? Yeah, there you go. Definitely need a, 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 a hanky for this one. Oh my gosh, yeah, dude, that's a mess <laughs> in all the right ways. You have to try this one. This is, I'm so glad I showed up at the right time. I didn't have to do the cook, I just get to eat. That's right, that's the best part, right? <laughs> Absolutely. Feeling in my bones, I could feel it in my face.